I think for me breastfeeding has probably been quite a long, strenuous journey. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do in pregnancy and it was one of the first things that I found myself being asked um, was how are you going to feed your baby? Um, what, what are you thinking of feeding her? And at that point I was just thinking milk. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what milk, just milk. But it, it became apparent quite quickly that I wanted to try and give it a go and just sort of see how it went. I didn't really have a, a strong plan in place, um, but I knew that I wanted to try and form that bond initially with skin to skin contact and just see if she wanted to really. I've always sort of been led by my baby and what she wants because um, I think it's, it's really important to listen to them. Um, and then, yeah, she took to it really well. Uh, I had a breastfeeding specialist come out to me um, and just sort of teach me a little bit more about the importance of um, the, having a correct latch and how it helps you to bond more with your baby and just sort of looking for the right cues from your child, um, mm. sort of signs that they're hungry or knowing when they're comfort feeding. Um, and she also taught me about the uh, hormones that help to produce your milk and how to sort of keep your production healthy as well. I started harvesting colostrum during pregnancy too. Um, I found that really beneficial during her first few days um, just to help her immune system um, and keep her nice and strong prior to having her immunisations done. I've, I've learned to be more confident feeding in public. It was hard at first, um, but you, you do sort of take the stairs all the fleeting glances with a pinch of salt and just know that you're doing the right thing like by your child. She's five months old now and she's been exclusively breastfed the whole way through. We've just My main support was my nan. Uh, she was also my secondary birthing partner. So she actually helped with the initial latch um, when I was having the first moment of skin to skin with my baby, um, she was really supportive as she breastfed all of her children uh, for the first six weeks. Um, a lot of my friends was a little bit reserved when it comes to me feeding in public with them being with me um, because they were sort of, you know, still getting to grips with the fact that that's what I was doing, that I was okay with it. Um, but once they saw that I was confident and comfortable doing what I was doing, I think they kind of mirrored that. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, their reaction has just been quite positive, a little bit of apprehension, um, but I think that's only out of sort of caring and, you know, not wanting anybody to sort of negatively interfere with that situation. So. I'm sure that you all poss possibly know who Chrissy Teigen is. Uh, she's John Legend's wife. They've recently had a lovely baby boy, and um, yeah, she's she's been she's been quite a controversial person because she's in the light and. Um, People sort of look towards stars to be, you know, prim and proper all the time, and she's there, like, with her breast pumps in the car, and you know, like, laying on a sun lounge and feeding her baby, and she just makes it completely okay, and she doesn't allow any of the negativity that people try and force onto her to get in her way. Um, she really advocates feeding and. She advocates being a strong woman as well, so I follow her quite a bit. And then just other normal mums that are doing their day to day, but find the time to, you know, encourage in the same way that I do. Yeah, amazing. Thank you. And well done. Thank you. Thanks, Sean.